but in May, 2.8, that is insane. Now, that is a ridiculous number. I don't know how people are affording these houses, but homes are selling. If you are buying a house in Toronto, there is a little bit of good news. Not a lot, a little bit of good news. And that is pretty, it's happening pretty much all over the place, all over the GTA. More and more new listings are finally starting to pop up on the MLS. So this is going to be a market update for Toronto. So if you have been kind of shopping for a house and have been losing out on multiple offers, uh, there is a little bit of hope, uh, but not much. I will give you a fair heads up. New listings have gone up and uh, you can see here the gap uh, between new listings and uh, number of homes sold. It actually widened in May and this was the gap in April, which is good news because new listings had gone up 90% since the beginning of the year. But number of homes sold, they had gone up 196%, which is the problem. That's why we were seeing everything going crazy, like 10, 20 offers on a house, lineups outside open houses. But since April, uh, new listings have actually gone up higher than the number of homes sold. Now, one month does not make a trend, uh, you know, so I believe, I honestly believe uh, spring rush might be coming to an end. Plus, we have Bank of, Reed, uh, Bank of Canada announcements uh, tomorrow and in July. So we'll see what happens with them. Uh, if they end up raising the rates, even if it's like 0.25, I think that is going to have an impact on the market, which probably means it will slow it down. So spring rush might be coming to an end, which is good news for buyers. Sellers are still in control. Uh, so if you are a seller, I would not worry too much because I'm going to show you the average prices. So this is average prices for all homes. And then we will cover detach in just a second. So rather than do just like Toronto as a whole, because Toronto has like, you know, 500 different markets, uh, I'm going to divide it up into West, Central and East. And um, even this is a very broad <laughs> overview, because like I said, there's tons and tons of sub markets in, within Toronto. But at least hopefully you'll get a rough idea what's happening. So in West Toronto, uh, average price for this, everything added together, uh, it started at 945 in January. And now we are sitting at 1.08. And that is not too bad. But look at this one in central Toronto. Uh, we started uh, the year off at $1.03 million for average price. Now we're sitting close to 1.3. Uh, they are sitting at 1.29. It has been going up every single month. So that is good news for home sellers. Um, I did tell buyers I do have some good news, not a lot. The good news is uh, there are more new listings to choose from. So hopefully that, that will create less panic in the market. Uh, in East Toronto, uh, average price for everything added together was sitting at $949,000 in January. And now we have moved up to 1.10. Now, let me know if you can do me a favor. Can you even read this stuff on your phone? <laughs> because I know majority of people check this stuff on their phone. So please do me a favor. Let me know if you, this is even readable because I can't really, um, you know, extend the font size too much uh, unless I take this chart out. So let me know and I'll uh, try to fix it for next time. Uh, average prices. So we are going to look at detached homes now. So let's see what detached homes are up to. Uh, you are not going to like this if you are a home buyer, especially in central. Uh, so in West Toronto, uh, average price for a detached was $1.33 million. That is for January. Then it went up again, then a slight decrease went up again. Now we are sitting at $1.52 million for an average detached house in the month of May. Uh, Central is not looking good if you are a buyer. Um, January, $2.03 million in Central. But in May, 2.8, that is insane. Now that is a ridiculous number. I don't know how people are affording these houses, but homes are selling. You know, everything is selling. So obviously people are buying this now. Um, yeah, that is what is that like an $800,000 jump within five months? Uh, East Toronto East January was selling for $1.2 million and went up every single month. Uh, yep. Steady increases every single month. Now in the month of May, they are selling for $1.39 million. Uh, I'm not done yet. Uh, so I still have this to cover, but. If you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, like stats heavy, honest updates, like I don't put any sales spin on these things. These are straight, uh, straight stats, straight from the MLS. 
please like and subscribe and comment. Uh, commenting, I never realized, was really, really uh, important to uh, YouTube videos. So please, if you can comment, good or bad, you know, let me know. And also let me know if you can read these numbers because if you can't, then I have a problem because I'm going to have to fix this for next month. If you can read these numbers, uh, please let me know down below. So what I want to show is which stats are in favor of sellers and which stats are in favor of buyers. Uh, B obviously stands for buyers and S stands for sellers. So pretty much every single stat except for two are still in favor of home sellers. Now what I'm talking about is number of sales. So this is Toronto West, Central East, uh, April to May, West, Central East. So sales have gone up in uh, every single region, uh, 701 to 860 for West, 1388 to 1668. So you get the idea. I'm sure you can screenshot this and uh, read this for yourself. Um, you don't need me to read out the numbers. Uh, but sales are in favor of home sellers. Average prices, as I showed you before, uh, they are also in favor of the sellers. Median prices as well. Median prices are in favor of home sellers. Uh, new listings. This is the only thing that is in favor of buyers because this actually went up, which should provide some relief to buyers. Uh, let's say, for example, in Central, the uh, new listings came up 2,342 in uh, the month of April. And in May, that went up to 3,111. So not a crazy amount, but it still it helps. Every little bit of helps. SNLR is favor of home sellers. If this number is going up, which it is for the from April to May, uh, that means the market is turning in favor of sellers. Uh, active listings is in favor of buyers. Uh, there were more listings left over at the end of the month compared to one month ago. Uh, not a huge amount, but the buyers, you know, they'll take it, whatever they can get. Months of inventory, it's still in favor of the sellers. This number actually went down from last month. Uh, sale price to list price ratio, um, not much change, but I guess if you wanted to call it, it is in favor of home sellers, but not a huge uh, chump, jump either way. Days on market, that is also in favor of home sellers. Uh, Toronto East, it took 17 days last month to sell. Now it's taking 16 days. Central, it was 29 days. Now it's taking 24 days. Uh, West Toronto, 26 days last month to sell. Now it's taking 24 days to sell. So I think if you are if you are sitting down with your agent and you're thinking of selling your house, or even if you're thinking of buying, um, obviously prices are king. You know, you should know. You should focus on prices, obviously. But there is a lot more we have access to. We have access to tons and tons of data. So make sure you sit down with your agent and discuss this stuff because this tells you exactly, like there's so many data points here. It tells you exactly which way the market's going. So you can better prepare yourself because sometimes it makes sense not to buy. Sometimes it makes sense not to sell. But that is all up to you. If you need any help buying or selling or any questions about the market, you can call or text me here. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.